Hello everyone, welcome back to LSPDFR here in Sandy Shores Police using the Tahoe, the guy that was coming to pick us, pick all of our prisoner transports up on the last episode of LSPDFR. Um, after I saw it so much, I was like, you know what, I really got to use this computer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whoa. Hello everyone and welcome back to LSPDFR here in Sandy Shores Police in the nice supervisor Tahoe that we saw coming to pick up all the prisoner transports from last episode's LSPDFR. Um, we saw it so much that it, it was just a beautiful Tahoe that I wanted to, uh, to use it and get in here and use it. So, it is a, like, uh, mid-noon, it's like noon exactly in the game, but it is very overcasty. Um, hopefully it does not rain. I have no, I've checked the forecast and it should not be raining, so we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get my calls going, and we'll be, uh, 10-8, available for calls. Dispatch calling unit 3, King 24. We've got a person carrying a knife in Sandy Shores. Now, right now, we got a person with a knife that we have to locate. I believe the suspect's gonna be on, uh, Joshua here. I got a suspect that's walking, uh, what looks to be towards the sheriff or fire station. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull over here. Oh, I do have some, uh, lights that aren't fully takedowns in the back, which I would rather have- Okay, there we go. I'd rather have the back on, suspect separately. Alright, dispatch. I got one female. It looks like a knife in the right hand. I'm gonna go ahead and make contact. We'll see exactly what's going on. Hey, man, why don't you go ahead and put down that knife? Can you shoot me out an additional code, too? Hey, 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 hey. No. No. Oh! Shots fired, shots fired. One down. We were super close. I shouldn't have went that close to her. That was probably a bad idea. And I say that because, um, you know, she could have swung that knife, which she did. She she did a full extension of that fucking knife. Do I have a fucking ext- I do. Oh, that's so good. That's not what I meant to put on the gun. There we go. Um... Let's go ahead and get medical staff out to Attention this female, see if we, we can get a revive. Okay, medical's coming sure. down the road. I was not expecting her to beeline it like that. Maybe I was, actually, but I just was super close to the female in the first place. I shouldn't have been that close. Um, these motherfuckers, dude. And it's funny how they didn't respond from the station that we were literally closest to. Um, if we get a revival, we're gonna go out of placement custody for brandishing and, uh, wielding a knife, and also attempted, uh, bodily harm with it's a, uh, deadly done. weapon, uh, since she did swing the knife. Luckily, we were able to bash her in the face with a gun and shoot her a couple times, uh, which rendered her, you know, useless and incapacitated and all that. I believe she's gonna be 1144, though, and we'll have to call corner in, so I am going to... Okay. It's corner. All right, dispatch, shoot me a corner out to Alhambra, Joshua, in the Sandy Shores area. I'll be, uh, code four, and 10 to back on the road. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn around for this black vehicle that did not stop fully at the, uh, stop sign. It's gonna be a Habanero license plate 28, Charles Mary Adam 383. We're gonna go ahead and get behind him, though. Ever since I figured out this cool speed radar thing, I like to just keep it up, because it's not that obstructive, to be honest. And I can keep it up when I'm not in a traffic stop. So before we do anything, let me go ahead and, uh, get this plate ran. It's gonna be, a uh, Habanero 28, Charles Mary Adam 383. Suspect's license plate, 28, Charles Adam 383, a traffic violation. Officers to use caution. Alright, so right now we got an expired registration and also the, uh, stop sign violation. So I'm gonna go ahead and light them up. We kinda just have our backlights on. Uh, even though we are tracing them just for the safety, because we are going to make a traffic stop once we get past the speed sign. Alright, dispatch, final stop, Joshua Road at the intersection of, uh... I, I can't, I don't remember the intersection. We might get close enough to have a pop-up on our radar. Come on, keep going, straighten yourself out, lady. Alright. Alright, dispatch, Marina and Joshua. It's going to be a black habanero. So we'll make contact with the vehicle and see what's going on. We have expired registration, uh, which is a crime that I could probably let her go away with the ticket. So we'll see exactly what's going on. Oh, it's a, it's going to be a male driver. Three occupants. Holy fuck. All right. How's it going today, sir? Stopped you because you blew the stop sign back on Joshua when you were coming off, um, you know, the grapeseed road. Um, if I can get your identification, please. Also, you're coming back with an expired insur uh, insurance, or I'm sorry, registration when I ran your license plate. So just go ahead and sit tight for me, Kane, and be right back with you. Alright, it is going to be Occupy times three. Um, 
That's a lot more people than I usually deal with, which is actually crazy. So we're just going to go ahead and hop back in here. I'm going to go ahead and activate my ELS lock so I'm not clicking a whole bunch of buttons. Uh, we got a valid license. Wanted status none. Time stopped one. Uh, very limited record right now. And the expired registration. Um, you know, we don't get revenue off registration stuff, you know, like per se the CHP in real life. So I'm not really worried about, you know, making sure he can't drive away. He is going to be receiving a ticket for the expired registration. I will not be towing the vehicle. Um, and nothing else seems that suspicious. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him go with those types of penalties. So expired. Well, I don't know if we're going to have an expired registration. All right, we're going to have to use a no registration because it doesn't have an expired. Um and running a stop sign. I'm not going to be seizing the vehicle. I'm going to be dropping it down to one point, and I'm going to be issuing you this ticket. Uh, other than that, you should probably stop at stop signs if you don't have valid insurance registration and uh, all that fun stuff, because that's how you get pulled over and you get your vehicle towed, especially if it was Highway Patrol that would have pulled you over, pulled you over, over there. Uh, luckily, it was me. Um, but other than that, go ahead and just slow it down. Actually, you weren't speeding. Just go ahead and stop at the stop signs. Get your registration. All right, dispatch, we are code four off Joshua Marina. It'll be 10-8 available. All right, right now we have a customer that's refusing to pay. Um, it's the second time this call has been routed out to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and respond since they obviously have no available units at Polito Bay or any sheriff units in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide some assistance and we'll get out code three since we do have about a three mile drive to uh, Polito Bay at this time. But I'm always, uh, I'm always down to help people out when they need it, especially if it's a neighboring city or whatnot. That's actually technically not too far away because we have the freeway system. But dispatch, show me code 3 out to Polito Bay for a customer refusing to pay. It's kind of been an outstanding call for the past 10 minutes. I've been dealing with that traffic stop, so... I wasn't able to get out there as fast as I wanted to or else I would have accepted it earlier. Alright, dispatch, we're going to be northbound US Route 13. About two and a half miles till destination. I guarantee we're gonna pass, we're gonna pass some, uh, <laughs> units on the side of the road, which could have totally, let me go on this side, which could have totally responded to this as well. I'm gonna try to hug the left, uh, wall as much as I can, that way it shoots everyone over to the right-hand side of the road. There we go. If I gotta, ro uh, roll over those bumps, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, we got about a mile. Come on, come on. Oh my God. I hate the ones that pull over on the left-hand side of the road. Very dangerous, very dangerous. Like that one right there. Do not stop there, come on. All right, US Route 13 still. We're about a mile and a half out. Not too far, but this traffic is proceeding to be a little bit of an issue. Especially with these overca overcast conditions, everyone even drives worse probably because they think it's going to rain or something. Or they're driving faster because they think uh, it's about to rain and they want to get there before it rains. Alright, dispatch. About a mile out. I'm not sure what exact, uh, exact destination this is at. I don't know where exactly in Polito Bay, so we're going to have to find that out via just GPS where it automatically routed me. Everyone just stay to your right, stay to your right. Alright, this is going to get a little crazy going through this intersection. I'm going to use this uh, emergency median in the middle. Guess it just cuts off right there. Come on, people, get out of the way. Okay, it's going to be on Main Street, so I'm going to just take the... Uh, I call it Main Street, even though it's uh, Polito Boulevard, because technically it's the Main Street. I know. It's crazy. All right, coming down Polito Boulevard. We're going to be southbound Polito. Come on. He didn't even slow down. Just honked back at me. What a fucking prick. All right, on scene, Polito and Deleuze. Hey, you better put that fucking knife away. Put it away, motherfucker. He's down. He's- alright, put it down! Put it- Shots fired, give me an additional unit. I don't know if it's available. Put it on the fucking ground! 
We got one cooperating. He fell on his knife. Multiple shots fired. Deleuze and Polito. 10-13s. I got a secondary unit. He should have fucking been able to respond in the first place. What the fuck happened? Why the fuck was he brandishing a knife? No wonder they called it out twice. What the fuck happened there? Guard this one. I don't know if he got struck by a vehicle or if this was part of the customer refusing to pay call. I have no idea. We got to get local EMS out to this scene to start rendering aid to these people. I have no idea what the fuck happened though. I know one of these. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to shut it down right now. Uh, that way we uh, don't have any traffic going through, especially while they're rendering aid. At least in this lane. I don't care if people come through, but yeah, put on your helmet now, buddy. That's always a good idea. That looks amazing. <laughs> oh my god, two ambulances showed up. That's when you know shit went the fuck down over here. Hopefully they're able to uh, render aid to these people. There's three medical workers working on that guy. Holy shit! What the fuck? I've never seen that before. He better be revived. No. Okay, it looks like that guy. Oh, you're going to jail. Hands up. Dispatch Polito and Deleuze. I got 110-15 at this time. Survived the uh, gunshots. We'll be taking him to the medical station and then... Uh, and then uh, the prison. I love how everyone stops here so they have to put on their helmet. That's great. All right, shoot me a prisoner transport. Assistance required. Last known Office location. Placed under arrest in Palato Bay. Is that Copy him? That. No, that's... I'm going to switch it up halfway through for uh, the marked unit. I, I totally forgot that that was... Uh, maybe that's the one I kept seeing roll up, was the marked unit the whole time. And the slick top's still sexy, though. I'll switch it up. Or I'll do another episode with the marked unit. That, that would probably be the best idea. I'll finish it up in this, and then I'll... Uh, I'll do another one. It is code four here. I got to get all the way back to Sandy Shores. Uh, looks like... Um, let me clean up these cones. And remove all signs. There we go. Traffic is able to be flowing. I'm going to go ahead and get back in my car. And we're going to go back down to uh, Sandy Shores. And we'll be 10-8 available. All right, right now we got a pursuit in progress. One unit um, in chase of a stolen vehicle going through Sandy Shores. I'm going to probably intercept that uh, pursuit here. Oh, major accident there on uh, Joshua Panorama. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get involved in this pursuit. I'm going to try to jump up in front since we got an SUV. I could probably pit that vehicle. If not, that Crown Vic has to blare it up. Come on, dude. God damn it, these fucking animals. All right, I'm passing them. Oh, don't record. Don't record. I know one of these, I know one of them was a Pursuit Tactics menu, I just don't know which one it was. Oh, here it is. It's an LRG. I'm gonna go for a pit. We've probably got to terminate this guy. Come on, SUV. That thing is just so much faster than my, uh, SUV on the get-go. Surprised the Vic isn't smashing by me. This is very strange. Alright, we are gonna have to perform a pit whenever I get near him, because if not, we're gonna miss our opportunity. This is it. Come on. Very nice. Back into the side of my car. Is he going back the other way? He is. Son of a bitch. We are never going to catch this guy. Give me some additionals and give me a helicopter. Ooh, come on. We got a helicopter unit involved in uh, the pursuit. Jesus, that guy dropped so much altitude so quick. Super sketchy. He doesn't even know what he's doing right now. That's great. Just go if you want to. Oh my god, you could at least go around me. That's what pisses me off. They just drive straight through you. And then they get to this invisible barrier and then they'll just stop. You're like, alright. Alright, we're gonna try to stay as close as we can to the uh, suspect while we actually run around the uh, animal there. If we could do that, we can warn people that he's coming down the road. All right, we got a major stop here. I'm going for a roadblock. 
why you don't drive a fucking golf cart on the road, idiot. Come on. Stop the fucking car. Stop the car. Oh my god. What the fuck? You ran over my whole body, you shitbag. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go for tire shots or something because this is gonna get ruthless. <laughs> And every time I get, every time I get like physically hurt by my own teammates, I always think back to the comments. The first thing that pops up in my head is like a snippet of a comment that goes, why don't you call for backup? <laughs> oh, that's why. That's why I don't call for backup because they run me over and they crush my back. They're literally backup. They back up over my body. It's fucked. Absolutely fucked. All right, we're going to go and stick with them. Westbound, Joshua Road, these guys are falling back. Helicopter falled. Come on! Get the fuck out of the way! I'm gonna pump this fucking Tahoe as fast as I can. I had to pull in another helicopter unit because he pulled off and did a beeline over to the fucking Yellow Jack. Goddamn idiot. Come on. I want this guy so bad. He keeps turning around though. Okay, two helicopters. I shouldn't lose them now. We've been the only people on the road for the past 35 minutes. Alright, this is gonna be it. He's gonna slow down a little. We're going 99. It took me a really long time to get up to 99. Come on, don't lose my momentum. Alright, dispatch. We're still Sonora Road southbound. I got two helicopter units. He's pulling away. We're at 83 and climbing. Okay, those two units are fighting each other back there, which is always fantastic to see. You're mine, dude. You're mine. Give the fuck up, you son of a bitch. This is absurd. I've never seen anything like this before. Absolutely relentless to get away. Turning around, doing U-turns and shit like that. I'll send in more units. I'll send in every person we have. We got some uh, highway patrols on bikes, even though they're probably going to get killed. Stay out of the way. This is going to be interesting how we're going to bring this to a uh, resolution. Because we keep doing the same shit. We're going back and forth on the same road. Oh, come on. Yes. That slowed him down. Get on the fucking ground. Get on the fucking ground. We got a tire that's been... Uh, I'm going for a shotgun. We got the shotgun. Get out. Get out of the fucking car. You run, I put a buckshot in your back. Listen to me. Nice matching of the hat you got there. God damn it. All right, I'm cease and assist, damn it. There it is. <laughs> That's great. All right, that was dramatic as shit. Fucking, you're dumb. You are dumb, lady. I'm going to place him in the back of this vehicle. There you go. You can take him. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, shit. All right, my police car is ruined beyond all belief. I'm gonna get the LG off to the side of the road and then call a tow truck. How did they get there? Was that transport? No. All right, let me get a transport unit to Joshua. That way. Oh wait, I don't need a transport unit because they have already took them. That's awesome. All right, yeah, as long as you can get them in there quick enough, I guess, uh, you know, they'll just take them off and I think they're still driving around somewhere, looking for a little gray dot. I don't know if they're going to go back to the station. Cuffed suspect. That's great. Well, at least they're with the police officer. That's all that matters. So I'm clear out of here. We're uh, good to go. At least this guy kind of hung around and didn't drive and knock my door off. Um, dispatch will be uh, code 4 10 8 available for calls. Attention all units. We've got security detail requiring assistance in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, we got a uh, security officer requiring assistance right now just off of Joshua. I'm going to go ahead and head down there. Code 2, see what's going on, see what he might need help with. Respond code two. All right, looks like it's going to be at the... I don't know what the hell this is, to be honest. Attention all units. Officers have arrived. Further information. All right, one sec, guys. Hold on. Let me just make sure I fucking... There's not, like, 
30,000 guns here. Irate call to emergency services from guard at truck stop. Joshua Road states that employees are feeling threatened by an intruder. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. We need to be prepared here. I think this is the guy. I'm gonna make contact with the security guard first. For sure. All right. They're, uh, they are out of a job here today. Tough luck. They are making a scene and stopping anyone from getting anything done. We want them off the premises so that things can run normal. All right, the guards no longer say anything. I'm gonna make contact with this guy. All right, man, explain what's going on. I wanted to speak to you. Do you know how much the CEO gets paid? No, I don't really care. And now they are saying that they have to lay me off. Me? Me? I'm a junior employee and cost them next to nothing. You could see the injustice here, right? So I'm not moving until I get some press coverage. The subject is no longer... Well, you are moving. If you've been fired, you have to move yourself off the premises. Um, you know, if you want to do a press coverage, you gotta go... onto the... onto the, you know, thing over there. You can't... you can't stay over here. So I'm gonna ask you kindly to leave the area. Actually, if you could give me your ID too, that'd be great. Alright, he did provide his uh, driver's license. Ethan Fedor. Alright, go ahead and just uh, relax one second. Ethan. I can't even take a full hour lunch break. Oh yeah. Alright, license is expired, no active warrants. So I'm gonna ask him to leave the area. Please leave, sir. You can do, um, I'll stay right here, thanks. No, I'm gonna ask you one more time to leave the area. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and do the press coverage from outside the property, but you cannot stay if you're not welcome. All right, we're gonna take you to jail. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back right now. I'm not playing that, get. We're gonna have one uh, in custody for not leaving the area. We could uh, basically get him for trespassing. That's my- p that's the guy that has my fucking prisoner. He's running code 3 around the whole fucking city. That's fucking great. Oh my god, you gotta love it. Alright, dispatch, I got one ten fifteen for uh, trespassing. He didn't want to leave, so we're gonna go ahead and place him in the vehicle. And uh, he's gonna be arrested. Get in the car and behave. He'll be out in a few hours, so there's nothing to really worry about. Other than that, dispatch will be 10 7 10 42. We are going to wrap it up for the Slick Top Patrol um, of Sandy Shores Police Supervisor Unit. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next episode.